All right, y'all, let's talk about it. So from what I read via Twitter, Adam Schefter, Hall of Fame insider <laughs> from ESPN, he says that the Bears were basically rejected by the Seahawks. The Bears tried, the Seahawks did not try. Basically, they were not really going to trade him, period. Now, like I said, from my previous view, the Bears did, you know, try to make some offers, but the Seahawks really don't want to trade them. Now, I don't know how Russell Wilson feels about it. It seems like they're just having a petty fight because Wilson's just tired of Pete Carroll having all the control. I do still think the Seahawks will trade Russell Wilson sooner than later, even if that's not this year. I could see a year from now, two years from now. I just don't see them lasting much longer. It's just too much bickering going on. And I feel like the Seahawks, like they know what they have in Russell Wilson, but they don't want to compromise. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, the Bears, they, not only did they swing and miss, they signed Annie Dalton. He's good as a backup at this point in his career. He should not be starting for your team. I don't even think he's better than Mitchell Trubisky, a.k.a. Mitchell Trubisky. I don't even think he's better than him. And I'm not saying uh, Trubisky is that much better, but I do think his mobility separates him from Andy Dalton. I will say that. Look, both quarterbacks are mediocre to me, but I'm just telling y'all, the... The fact that Trubisky is mobile separates him a tad bit from D Dalton. So, look, things things can change. Let me say that. The draft, we're still about a month. We're like a month and a couple of weeks away from the draft. So, anything could change. Who knows? But the Bears would have to give up everything, including all their mamas, to get Russell Wilson. And the Seahawks... Clearly don't want to give him up. And that's a smart thing. Don't don't give him up. Now, the bias perspective. <clears throat> please get rid of him. Please. That way the NFC East could be a tad bit easier. Get rid of him. Let him go. Be dumb, Seahawks. Be dumb. But objectively, no, the the C, the Seahawks should keep him as long as they can. But yeah. If you're a Bears fan, how do you feel about this? Like, how can you still be a Bears fan knowing how mediocre the Bears are? Let, let me tell you how crazy it is. The Bear, okay, every bad team you could say, hey, they're a quarterback away from this or a quarterback away from that, where it's the playoffs or, you know, being a good team again. No, literally, the Chicago Bears, their whole entire existence have been a quarterback away from being Super Bowl winners. Super Bowl contenders. That's literally been their whole entire issue. Literally, that's been their whole entire issue. They don't even like black quarterbacks, which is a whole different topic, I guess, for another day. But literally, like they could have got Jameis Winston this year. They could have got Cam Newton last year. They didn't do nothing about it. Okay. They tried to get Russell Wilson. That didn't work. They're, they're screwed. And low-key, I think they curse. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe they just blatantly, you know, ignorant. Blatantly stupid. But maybe they are cursed. I don't know. But if you're a Bears fan, how do you feel about this? As a Seahawks fan, how do you feel about this? I would like to know from both of y'all. Even if you're not a fan of neither team, how do, how do y'all feel about this? Do you look at the, the Bears and laugh at them? Because they had to settle for Dalton, or you do, or do you look at this like, hey man, they was they really had no shot in acquiring Russell Wilson in the first place. I feel bad for Allen Robinson. He has to keep dealing with mediocrity, and he should sit out until he gets traded to a good team. That's what I would do. Yeah, he needs to get traded to a good team. He's too good for the mediocrity that the Bears keep serving him. But yeah, that's basically my take on it. Let me know what you think about this current situation. And do you think Russell Wilson will get traded before this upcoming season? Let me know in the comment section 
down below.